Last week, you started finding articles from newspapers, magazines, and journals. Hopefully, you noticed a difference between them. While useful to inform the general public on contemporary issues, magazines and newspapers have limited use for college-level research. Journal articles provide much more depth on any topic, and the information has been verified through professional research. Journal articles and other professional literature will usually score much higher for credibility, but because of the depth of information, I would never suggest that you start with journal articles. Encyclopedia, magazine, and newspaper articles are important to lay a foundation of understanding and most students are overwhelmed if they begin their research with journals. However, I would also never suggest that Academic Search Complete is the only source of information on any topic. It is a great starting point since it indexes so many periodicals from a variety of disciplines and has so many articles available full text. But, just like shopping, don't be satisfied with the first store's offerings. You need to continue searching to make sure you make a solid choice. The next step is to use subject-specific databases. Academic Search Complete is a general database, but ISU has over 150 subject-specific databases. Since this class is to prepare you for research in your discipline, it is important that you use and explore the databases used in your field of study. Many databases are done by a company called EBSCOhost, such as CINAHL, PsycInfo, and INSPEC, and they have a similar format to Academic Search Complete. The difference is that they index only publication within their disciplinary focus. Here are some commonly used EBSCOhost databases, but there are many other databases that are comparable although they have a different format and index different sources. Often the databases from different companies complement each other with the resources indexed. For example, CINAHL is from EBSCOhost and Clinical Key is a nursing database from a company called Elsevier. PsycInfo is an EBSCOhost database for psychology research and Psych Articles a full-text psychology database sanctioned by the American Psychological Association. IEEE Explorer is from the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers, and INSPEC is an EBSCOhost database for research in electricity and electronics. On the ISU Library webpage, choose the Databases tab and using the drop-down menu, review the list of databases. Many of them have EBSCOhost after their name, and you will find them very easy to use because they use the same format as Academic Search Complete. For example, in Education Research Complete, research on information literacy and reading provides these results, and you can easily use the facets and recognize the icons to locate an article on your topic. You will need to use an EBSCOhost database to locate one article on your topic. The database will be assigned to you and a message given to you through Moodle. You will also need to use Web of Science, a huge database that indexes professional literature from around the world, especially in the sciences. Select this database using the drop-down menu on the ISU Library webpage. Do a search on your topic. Be sure to use the Boolean operators and truncate your search terms as appropriate. Since you are searching for materials on your topic, just leave all the settings, but you may want to watch the brief tutorial up in the right corner to become familiar with the database. The results page has three sections. The main section in the middle has a list of articles with the search terms with the title, author, and citation information. Notice the search terms are highlighted in yellow. Make sure they are used in the same context you intended. Also, Web of Science does not provide the full text of any articles, although they do allow ISU to provide a link to the materials we subscribe to. This is the same link you found in Academic Search Complete. 
On the left are the facets, and you can refine your results with additional search terms, choose search categories, document types, language, country, and other helpful facets. Click on the title for the complete record. And this complete record has all the information about that article. Click on the Return to Search results to go back to the list of articles. On the right is the Citation Network section, with the number of times the article has been cited. I scrolled down until I found an article that has been cited several times to show you the citation map. Click on the title, and on the right it says it has been cited by other authors 10 times, and this article cited 115 other sources. Click on the View Citation Map, and a page like this appears. You can check forward only to get the sources that cited the article, or backward only to locate the sources that this article cited, or the option for both. It takes a few minutes, but this is the resulting citation map. This is going forward only, showing the 10 articles that cited the article I found. Forward and backward mapping takes a little more time. By the way, I found that Google Chrome doesn't work with the citation map very well. I had to use Internet Explorer. For this week, you will need to locate articles and provide citations and do a score assessment for four articles, each from a different database. One article will be from an EBSCOhost database from your discipline. One article will be from Web of Science and I will send you a message through Moodle for a third database in your discipline that is a non-EBSCOhost database. In that same message, I will tell you of a government database to use for your research also. Note the features as pointed out in Academic Search Complete and Web of Science and comment on the database features that you find useful on the forum. Also, there is a quiz about using databases efficiently be sure to take that after you have explored several databases and noted their features. You may find many of these resources challenging to read and understand, so I suggest you refer back to the material in Week 2 about managing new information. Also, remember to focus on the citation, abstract, and the first paragraph and the results or conclusion to do your score assessment. You don't need to read the complete article. These assessments help you decide which articles you will use for your research. So note the qualities of the articles in your assessments. As always, I'm available to help. Please contact me.